Morning everybody, your reporter again. I want to show you my uh, new spark app here as soon as I get the camera ready. Now what I've got, I've got a little DC motor, 18 volt here. Uh, this is a 25 ohm pot and there's uh, six 10 ohm resistors in series going to the going to the motor and then 12 volts goes to the motor and then ground. Uh, on the little shaft, what I did, I took a piece of uh, plexiglass tube, not tubing, but uh, solid plexiglass rod, and I used the Dremel tool to cut one slit for the uh, spark gap piece of copper uh, uh, rod, and then I cut uh, two slits in, an, in a cross fashion so I could slide and glue on the, the, uh, the piece of plexiglass rod under the shaft of the motor. Out here I've got the screws that are adjustable into this and this thing will turn anywhere from 11,000, 12,000 RPMs all the way down to I guess maybe oh, 50 or 60 or something I'm not sure but uh, a little further out here I've got a couple of diodes, three microwave diodes in series going through a coil going back through to the other second battery in the back and uh, these caps right here get charged up to anywhere from two to oh I don't know maybe I can go to like four thousand on these two caps and uh, the uh, oh the Edgray tube is in the back back here and that goes in series to the spark gap and uh, let me swing over here and I'll show you the schematic quickly and uh, hopefully you can see this. Sorry about the mess, but that's the way it is. Okay, and uh, what I got here is the inverter, variac, transformer, a couple of diodes going out to a cap, and then the Ed Gray tube, the rotary spark gap, through a diode coil, a second battery, uh, grids go through a diode to a cap. I'm just going to use this for testing. And uh, that's it for today. Have a good one. We'll keep you posted.